It's May 11th, 2017, Calvin Castine at Northeastern Clinton Central School, and we're here to talk about something that's happening in June, June 3rd, 4th, yeah. and, oh, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, yeah. excuse me. And we've got Mr. Jason Borey. What's your official title, Jason? Uh, besides uh, Community Pest, uh, now I am, actually, I am the Drama Club Advisor and the Artistic Director for this uh, particular show. Uh, I'm also a study, social studies teacher here at NCCS. Um, yeah, and community pest. <laughs> <laughs> so is there a lot of drama in social studies? <laughs> uh, well, we, we, well, absolutely. And this, uh, you know, we've had a very interesting uh, political year, and it continues to be, uh, you know, it, you can't ask for any better reality TV than a real reality TV show right in front of you, right? So, yeah. Okay. Well, we're not here to talk about politics. No, we're here to no. talk about Northeastern Clinton Central School Drama Club proudly presents... That's right. Do you want to dance? All right. And what is this? Do you want to dance? Yeah, what is that? it's probably one that you've never heard of before, <laughs> and surprisingly, I've, I've heard I, the expression. <laughs> that's right. I heard the song. Um, that's exactly it. That's actually where the title comes from. That song is in the show. So you can see here, it's a jukebox musical, which is a new style uh, being uh, put together through Music Theater International. So the trend right now with Broadway and the general populace is that you take songs that are all already known to the public and you put them in a show oh. with uh, a new storyline. Uh, Mamma Mia is a good example of that where it's all ABBA music and they put a storyline with that. Or um, Million Dollar uh, Quartet which was uh, you know taking music from Johnny Cash and um, uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, uh, uh, Elvis Presley and they put it all in this show. The Jersey Boys you know okay. Frankie Valli. So, yeah. so that's that's kind of the style. So this show takes songs that were on the radio, popular, pop, popular music from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and puts it into a storyline that is very similar to Footloose. So if the audience is familiar with that movie of Footloose, where you kind of have a, some ad adult population that is kind of upset about the dancing of the teens, uh, that's very similar to this. We have um, a mayor who gets uh, remarried, and his newly uh, his new wife does not like dancing, uh -huh. so she has him put a dance tax on dancing, <laughs> and of course is it per dance? It's or? per dance, absolutely, oh, wow. and you get fined more on every time you get caught dancing. And what? I think it's on the move, not just a whole dance number, but so if you move a dance move once, you get a fine. Another dance move, you get fined again. So it's pretty drastic, and the kids decide to rebel against this horrible dance tax. Wow, we've got to stick with those kids. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Taxation without representation here. It's, yeah. it's just not fair. Absolutely. All right. Adults, before we forget here, adults are $10. Students and seniors, I'm a senior, you know, $8. Hard to believe, Calvin. <laughs> I, I don't buy that for a minute, but we'll let I, you in for eight. I, was like, I, <laughs> I know I look like a sophomore, but I'm really a, a senior. So. Oh. Um, yeah, we thought we would do some tiered pricing this year just because this is not a show maybe people know about. So it's really thank you for coming and, and, and mm -hmm. helping us introduce this to the community. This is not a title anybody's going to be familiar with, which is actually exciting for us. We're actually producing a show that, to my knowledge, has not been produced in the area at all by any community theater group or high school. So I think we're the first one. Oh. Yeah. Well, breaking ground here at Northeastern Clinton. Yeah. You've been known for your groundbreaking efforts over the years. I suppose, uh, especially <laughs> when I'm wearing a grass skirt and coconut bra, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> that was uh, how many years ago? Uh, 20, Cal 20 watts. Cal Calvin, I, I hate to admit it, but I'm coming up on my 20th uh, high school uh, reunion, graduation anniversary this coming summer. So that was, I think, the... That was the spring of 96, I want to say. So that was, what, 21 well, Bob, years Bob ago? Bob was still it, it, here, That's so right, Bob. I remember he wrote, he a died in 97. Wrote, wrote a beautiful letter to several of the cast members <laughs> yeah, about that, that show. Bob. Yeah, now that was, that was Bob. Yeah. 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 So he, did he write you a beautiful letter? He did. did I he? still have it, actually. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, and it was just, a, you know, he was the kind of guy that if you, you made an impression on him, he wanted you to know it. That it wasn't just for him. It was you were making an impression on everybody that way. And, yeah. he, and, he, and he made you feel special. That yeah. was the great thing about Well, you know, you worked, oh, yeah. you know, with Bob for many, many years. You know, he had just had a touch that 
can't really replace, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah one of a kind. That's definitely, right. Definitely. That's right. So June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. A little late, but this is kind of how things run. Our school year seems like it's packed with so many things, and the kids, you know, we, we want to offer as many opportunities as possible between sports and clubs, and this is just when we've decided to do this. Plus, I, I don't mind it because we're not really in competition with anybody else. A lot of the schools do their shows in March, right. so we're far out of that realm. So if people are looking to see a show outside of the normal season, this is the place to this come. Is, this is it, yeah. Yeah, you've got, oh, I just left a softball game out there that <laughs> went to the bottom of the ninth, bottom of the seventh before it was, it was ended, so I was supposed to be in here half an hour ago, and I ran late because I know seasons conflict. Absolutely. And you've got some people you said here that won't be here tonight because they're competing in different sports and they're out of town tonight yeah yeah spring sports are uh, uh, somewhat of a headache a lot of these kids they want to do it all so they're they're multitasking when on top of their school work and so we're very forgiving the coaches kind of give us some leeway especially when it comes to closer to the performance and the performance weekends uh, we've uh, you notice the time actually is eight o'clock that was not the original time and that was the compromise to allow some of our uh, track athletes to be able to go to um, I think uh, it was uh, sectionals or invitationals or something, so they could qualify, uh, and then they could be back in time to actually do the show. So well, that's, you know, that's they'll have a busy one. they'll have a busy day for sure. Now, is it uh, are all the songs going to be sung by the students, or is there going to be some uh, records being played? Well, uh, we haven't uh, pushed ourselves yet to actually bring in an orchestra for these shows, so it is a CD, so it is a recording, but it's all the kids singing. So okay, it's, so so it's, it's like karaoke. Correct. So it's live music. The kids have been practicing. We actually had, uh, I don't know if you remember, Roger Andrews uh, directed a couple shows for Shazy Music mm -hmm. Theater the last yep. couple of years. Uh, he kindly came in and offered to help us out. He, he didn't like the title of music director, but that's basically what he did. <laughs> he came in and really helped these kids do some singing and and uh, brought them leaps and bounds, more than I could have done. So um, very, very thankful for that. But yes, they will be singing. And there's lots, there's more chorus numbers than really anything else in this show. So there are, there are solo pieces, but a lot of huge production numbers. Oh, I see five of the cast running away right now. Yes. How big is the cast? Uh, with the, I believe actor-wise, Karen told me, I want to say we're at 26 actual actors on stage. And then there's another five to seven students that are working backstage. Uh, that would be uh, stage management, lights, sound. Um, uh, yeah, so we, I think the total number of students working on the production is about 35. <laughs> like herding cats sometimes? Sometimes, yes. Well, I just told you. So I was like, who's, I was just asking, I was like, who's coming tonight? Who's not coming tonight? So <laughs> then I try to arrange what we can actually do and make sense of it. Uh, and we're still learning a few pieces. We got a couple more pieces to learn before we get the whole show done. And then we'll be running our, our first act, second act stuff, uh, next week. Yeah. So good get down to the wire and we're unfortunately we're down here in the, I, I know maybe Judy hasn't given the full picture but normally we're up by the auditorium right. right now the band and chorus are getting ready for their concert in about a week so they're they have all their stuff on the stage so we've kind of been displaced not by you know I have no problem with that right. so we're down rehearsing in this big room and then we'll go back up on the stage and get all the sets and everything up right after the band and chorus concerts done so yeah, there's always something that you're conflicting with. And, sure. You know, it, but we share the space and we try to work with each other. So. Yeah, well, you know, and you got that many students involved, uh, you're going to, you know, it's going to take some work and some effort. And, yeah. you know, you and this mysterious Karen, whoever she is. Yes, you know, Karen Bouvier, she's uh, assisting me greatly. She said she, she doesn't, uh, she just kind of helps me out, but she does everything, <laughs> you know, as I often say on the announcements right before the show. Just like you, you know, you, you help us out, you get the word out, uh, you come in and, and help uh, uh hold things for us for posterity <laughs> um you know tina lecounts helped us she actually painted this uh oh, very nice and job. susie uh susie chapman designed this logo which she, so tina took it from the poster so the people will see this image out in the community uh for our posters and uh steve sullivan's helping us with the sets and so it's a, it's really an effort there's several people working on this production and it couldn't really happen without them so um i i guess i'm the pilot or the captain of the ship but it the ship only <laughs> runs with the crew right so um, um, and the kids have been working really hard, so very, very proud of them. Okay, uh, we're going to try to talk to some of that cast and uh, 
Anything else before we let you go, Jason? Well, just thank you. That's my, my big thing. Thanks well, you. Thank you for taking time out in your, your rehearsal here. You get limited time. I, I know, but this is a, this is important too. And I know the kids are excited to uh, be interviewed by you. It doesn't look that way. They're heading in the other direction. <laughs> Wait a minute. Terrified. That's what I meant. I said terrified. <laughs> One of those words. All right. Yeah. Thanks, thank, Calvin. Thank you, Appreciate Jason. it. All right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, if you uh, pick up a copy of Strictly Business, you'll see somebody's name in there as a writer sometimes, uh, every issue, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, thanks for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy it. <laughs> so you now do a monthly article for Strictly yes, Business. Yes, I do. Um, it keeps me honest because I make my students write essays, so a magazine article is an essay, <laughs> so I tell them I have to write one every month, too. So you post them on the bulletin board for kids well, I don't to see. Well, I don't think they're really that interested, <laughs> but um, but it does keep me, me honest and keep me writing, and I enjoy working for the magazine and meeting all the people in the North Country in business. So yeah, it's yeah. fun. Hi, right, this is Karen Boubier. I didn't introduce you. Thank you. No, no <laughs> relation to Jacqueline Boubier. Right? No, I wish. <laughs> And what are you doing here? J J Jason says you help out a little bit. I help out a little bit. Um, Not a I lot, guess I my you, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my official title is assistant drama club advisor, and you could call me the director's assistant. I guess. Um, so I help him with all the programs and the costumes and the props and managing the kids and the getting the flowers in, the ticket sales, you know, all the things that don't involve actually choreographing or directing a show, which is what he does. <laughs> so all the things that are beneath the director is yes. what's, what's handed to you. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't think he thinks it's beneath him, but... <laughs> he won't see this. So he's got he a lot to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I. I uh, don't envy you folks to gather uh, 30 students every, every year and it's fun. put something like this on. It's fun. It's, it's, I actually feel very privileged to be able to do this because I get to work with some great young people in a different way than teaching and do some, some pretty fun things. So it's, it's always a satisfying project. Cool. Yeah, I imagine every year you're, you get a surprise with somebody that does something that you, you know, yes, weren't expecting. Yes, that's it. also the fun part. And actually this year, I'm not sure if Jason said this, we have um, invited middle schoolers into our cast this year uh, for the first time in several years actually. Um, and Mr. Trudeau, our chorus teacher, has recommended some of his singers and they have been awesome. And we have met some very talented young people that we hope will stay with us. I like to mention this uh, every once in a while, but uh, you know, these musicals sometimes uh, bring out things in kids that they carry on into their life. I think. Uh, Jason is a different person because of the musicals he took part in here. I think, I, he I think, of, I think of Scott Merchant here who had a career in, mm -hmm. as a singer mm -hmm. because he started right here and mm -hmm. decided uh, mm -hmm. this is what he wanted to do. You mm -hmm. know? And I think it just every once in a while it really makes, makes an impact in somebody. I think it does too and I'm thinking about our drama club president Natalie Jubert who's so talented and I'm not sure she knew how much she enjoyed singing, perhaps, <laughs> until she maybe got involved, and and now she that she wants to make a career out of it, and I think she she certainly could. Yeah. So, and she's been a great president too. Good role model. Um, now this show, um, I think the audience should know this. Um, the songs from this show are from the 70s and 80s. So um, I think the audience, the, stu the students didn't necessarily know all the songs. They <laughs> didn't recognize most of them. But the old fogies will. But the old fogies will. And, um, and I think it'll bring a smile to their face because they will recognize Shake Your Groove thing. They'll recognize Neutron Dance from Beverly Hills, um, um, was it Beverly Hills Cop with um, Eddie Murphy. Okay. And um, certainly you've heard of um, Dancing in the Street and uh, Boogie Wonderland, that old Earth, Earth, Wind, and Fire disco tune, right, from the <laughs> 70s. So I think the audience will be tapping their feet automatically, and it's just so fun. And to see the students dancing and singing to it, I think it'll be, you know, it's a little variation. Think of it as Footloose Junior, is how I would describe <laughs> the show. Now, is it about a 90-minute show? How long? It's about a 90-minute show. Um, we have two acts. And th it's a lot of ensemble numbers. So um, the students, um, all, uh, most of the cast is on stage most of the time, which I think is nice. So the students have a lot to learn, and but I think um, the fans will see their, their loved ones up there quite a bit. Okay, there's three opportunities to see it. Yes. The uh, second 
third and fourth, eight, eight, and on Sunday at two. Yes. So Friday and Saturday at eight, and Sunday afternoon at two. Yes. So. We push back the time a little bit because our students are so busy. They have track meets, and um, they're they're just so awesome. They go run and jump and play baseball and softball, and then come catch, here and sing and breath. dance, and <laughs> you know. So that's why it's a little bit later, but it's only going to go to about nine thirty. So. Yeah. So. And we do have a special offer for um, the tickets are ten dollars for adults. But if you're an adult who wants to come to more than one show, uh -huh. we have a multi um, we have a multi 20? day pass. Two for twenty. Well, three for fifteen. <laughs> How's that? Oh, three for fifteen. Yes. Holy cow. Yes. So if you uh, are like half if, the price. Yes, it is. So if you want to come to all three shows, um, we have a pass <laughs> that um, you can get for fifteen dollars to come to all three. What happens if you show up on? Uh, Friday and say, oh, I want to come, keep coming. Can I pay five hours and get two more tickets? Absolutely. <laughs> yes, you can. And it'll be worth it, too. It'll be fun. But do you fingerprint them so, so they don't give that to somebody well, else? Well, we have a pass made up, and it's non-transferable. Uh, of course, I'll be at the door all three nights, but... You're doing that, too? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and I do have some help from Darlene Rabideau, who's very, whose daughter is in the show, Danielle. And she's helping us with the tick. She's helping us with the flowers and the ticket sales and anything else we need. So she's she's been awesome. She's doing the 50/50 raffle. So she's been great. Do you do the dishes too? I mean, <laughs> if I have to, <laughs> it's all fun. It's all good. It's all for theater and it's all for the students to have some some other way to show, learn and show off their stuff. Yeah, so. and I got to mention it's the Francis Bud Moore Auditorium. Mm -hmm. I knew Francis Bud Moore. You, you know? did. I didn't meet Mr. <laughs> Moore, but I've heard great things about him. Yeah. So. So uh, he just left us a few years ago. He lived uh, about 90 years. Oh, God right bless after him. After his 90th birthday, he, you know, so he had 90 good years. So, good. But he was, a, he was a legend here during his time. And good. Well, he's nice still that his name stays yes, on. Yes, and he's still, he's still here. So yeah. <laughs> thank you for coming. All right. Thank you, Karen. Yes. All right. I know you've been asked this many times before. Are you from Krypton? Krypton? Uh... Uh, no, it's just a brand. Oh. <laughs> I like DC and Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a Superman's thing or Supergirl. Da, 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 da. Supergirl, I should, you know, because she's yeah. from Krypton too. What's your name? Uh, my name is Alexa Mercaldi. Alexa Mercaldi. Yeah. I know some Mercaldis from the Perry's Mills area. Yeah, I have relatives over there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so what are you doing in this, Alexa? Um, I my role. Yeah. Oh, my role in this uh, musical is basically the newspaper kid, like extra, extra, read all about it, that Don't kind of thing. The whole, you give away the whole story. <laughs> so you do that more than once, often, or what? Um, I do it more than once. I'm also in a protest that's in the musical. Newsboy protest. What are you protesting? Uh, Can you there's tell us? in the musical. Apparently, there's. Uh, Apparently, there's this uh, tax on dancing, uh -huh, and the people that. are trying to revolt and get rid of the tax. And you're uh, protesting because you don't want that tax either. No. You're, you're a dancer, huh? Uh, kind of. I have two left feet, but I, I commit. Well, well, you find somebody with two right feet, and you can dance together. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah, that works. Uh, what grade are you in? Uh, ninth grade, freshman year. Freshman year. Yep. Yeah, okay. It's your first year in freshman? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got to ask that question, you know. I know. All right. <laughs> Where'd you go to uh, elementary, Ross's Point or Moore's? Uh, Ross's Point. Okay. Uh, what else should I ask you about? Have you been in any of these before? Uh, this is my first time being in drama first club and in, in a musical, so I'm kind of stoked, yet I'm kind of shy. Okay. Well, Do you, so are you singing at all in this? Uh, yes, I am of the alto part. The alto part. Are you in the school chorus at all? Yep. Or, yeah? mm -hmm. So you got uh, stuff, was it next week, the musical here at Northeastern? There's a um, concerts, you know, there's a concerts coming up. May 22nd is the chorus concert. The first weekend of June happens to be the premiere right, this year, of... This, yeah, second, third, and fourth, yeah. yeah. So about uh, 12 days before the this, you got to do the, the school concert. On the 12 days of Hanukkah, my rabbi gave to me. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. <laughs> All right. Anything else that we should know about? Um, no? I don't know. All right. Well, keep wearing those Superman or that Supergirl shirt. I guess it's, when you're wearing it's a Supergirl shirt. Keep wearing those Supergirl shirts. 
Superhero. We need I more superheroes. I only have the one. No, that's all right. Superman only has one. <laughs> there you go. You look very heroic when you do that. Anything else you want to tell us? Mm. Oh, um, I'm in more than one thing of music because okay. not only am I in the choir, I'm also in an a cappella group called Octavo 12 that's from the choir. So I'm going to be singing huh, three times this year. Uh -huh. Choir, Octavo 12, and this musical. So three opportunities to see you. Yep. And hear you. Yeah. All right. Thanks for chatting with us. No problem. All righty. See you next year. See ya. All right, so this is going to be a little more challenge. I hope I don't, if I stand in front of you, it's nothing personal. I hope you don't mind, do you? Oh. Come here. <laughs> Where'd you go? Ta-da! Your name? Ezra. Ezra who? Ezra Morrow. Morrow? Yes. Okay. And? Morgan Ziamba. Morgan Ziamba and? Amy Romat. Romat? Romat. Romat. R-O-M-A-T? Like, like, like Ron, Lond Romat. <laughs> like the ending of that. Nobody ever called you that, though, right? No, no, not, not, I not till that now. When I was like seven. I was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> Bye. I'm using that now. All right, so you got it. you got a new name to call her. What are you doing in this, Ezra? Um, I am playing the um the the principal's son. The principal's son, uh huh. Um, Miss Wizzle. So I am Ananias Wizzle. Ananias. Yes. He chose the name himself, can't you tell? You, you chose that name? I have good name? taste. Yeah. <laughs> I have good taste. I don't even know how to spell Ananias. A-N-A-N-I-A-S. <laughs> of course. That's how I would have spelled it. It's what grade so are you in in the real world? Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Oh, so that's right. They're letting all you middle school people in here, huh? We're cool kids. Yeah. We're cool kids. Yeah. So the, obviously this is your first oh. effort. Um, no, I was previously, um, 2014, in Porgy and Bess. Um, on Broadway or where? Uh, no, Place des Arts in Montreal. Oh, my goodness. I played the main child. I was CPO. Um, I do not know um, what the character's name was of my parents. Um, and I think they called my sister Eve. Uh huh. And they accidentally called me Adam and Eve because, oh, no. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I played the main child. You can see why he's the favorite here. Yeah, I can see. <laughs> so, uh... You're from Montreal originally, or what? Um, yes, I'm from there, but I was born in California. Okay. Although I lived most of my life in Montreal. Okay. So and you, I've moved so around, around here. here. Yes, and I've been to Great Britain, and I lived there for about two years, I think, while when I was a toddler. Uh huh. So you're gonna stick around for a while, or you're gonna be moving on again? You think? I have no idea. That is no, my parents' just, decision. You just, <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of follow them around. Yeah. Right? I got no part of this. Around. So long have you been here? Um, I moved here um, beginning of last year. Okay, so this is two years here at Northeastern? Yes. Okay. So, a late welcome to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, how about you? How many countries have you lived in? Um, I used to live here until I was three, and then I moved to Vermont. And then last year I moved back here. Oh, well, welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and what grade are you in? Seventh. You're also in seventh. Did you know him before you started doing this? Uh, yeah. All right. Okay, so we do have some Vermonters in this school, too, but I don't know if they're in seventh grade. I don't know if they start at freshman year or not. But we do have folks from Alberg and Isla Mott to come over. You can get closer here, Ezra, so I won't yeah. step in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what are you doing in this? Um, I'm a parent, actually her parent. Because that makes sense. <laughs> but that totally makes sense. Yeah, I'm shorter than she is. Hey, Mom. <laughs> they, they grow so quickly, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm a parent, and I have done this before, but in my old school, I did a play instead of a musical. Old school in Vermont, you mean? Mm -hmm. or, okay. Whereabouts in Vermont were you? Uh, a little town called Franklin. Franklin, Vermont. Okay, I've heard of that. It's near St. Albans, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, you sing a lot, or what? What are you? What are you doing here? Uh, yeah, mostly singing, but I also play the French horn and band. Okay. Uh, are you pro or anti-tax here on that singing and dancing? There? <laughs> if I rate myself out of ten, I'd probably be a seven, around there. <laughs> no, but are you for or against the tax on the dancing here? Um. <laughs> 
I don't really know. Don't I'm know? actually against, I believe. Your, your character? Dance. You don't know what your character is? Uh, I'm a parent, so I'm kind of like... What is your character's name? I don't even know. Uh, my character's name is yeah. Chloe. Don't even Chloe? know my mom's but, name. Okay. <laughs> but, um, How dare you? <laughs> I think my character is against, but with attacks at the same time. Oh. <laughs> Very ambiguous. I'm gonna rest now, so she's real proud. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and how about you? Oh gosh, they have all interesting stories, and then I'm just like, oh, I've lived in the same house for my life. So oh, I don't want to talk to you. you just... <laughs> I know, right? It's so boring. <laughs> Try harder. Try living in the same house for. Well, I've lived on the same. Li lived on the same property. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So what are you doing in this? Um, I, as she said, your, your I'm daughter. her daughter. Um, I play Kim. And I get arrested. <laughs> For protesting? Yes. No, You're going to be an embarrassment to the family here getting arrested like that, you know. It's okay. It's kind of like real life. <laughs> cool. So they put you in cuffs? No. No? They're, just They're too arrested. kind. They're too They're kind. <laughs> so are you in seventh grade also? No, I'm in eighth grade, actually. Oh, eighth grade, yeah. Right. Also, which also makes sense that she's my mom, right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> hey, mom! <laughs> Well, it's just uh, the way they cast it. That's all. It must be that gray hair you have that. <laughs> just a little she acts a lot like my mother anyway, so I mean. She can try us. <laughs> <laughs> Lock me in the basement forever. All right, you got a favorite part of this uh, this musical? Um, honestly, just the people. Just the people. The people are like amazing. All right. <sighs> Including these two. Or yeah. <laughs> or especially these two. <laughs> All right, well, that's great. It's fun to do these things, isn't it? Yeah, it is. This is actually my first time doing something like this, and I'm just really excited. I got a feeling you'll be back next year. Oh, heck yeah. You'll be the first one on that sign-up sheet. Mm. So. Number one. <laughs> and she's a wonderful singer, too. Is she? Wonderful. <laughs> You're just saying that because it's your daughter, right? <laughs> well, I'll be listening for you. <laughs> I'll be listening for you then. Do you do any solos or? No. No. I do. You do? Are you a wonderful singer too? Um, yes. She says she's not. She's yes. Very good. Is she? Humble. Mother. Humble. But just. How about you? Are you? Uh, um. If you've been on Plaza des Arts, you ought to. Well, I actually didn't have any singing parts. Oh. I was just moving around a lot, and I was. Um, yeah, you do. I, I mean, no, in, in, in Montreal. Oh. In Montreal. I was gonna say what? I was just very interactive. Uh huh. Um. But I would say, like, I would call myself a, a 7 out of 10 singer, although Same. people, sorry, <laughs> um, <laughs> although people rate me much higher because, uh -huh. well, I guess I'm just that good. Eh? Well, <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to be recording one of these, and I'll bring some cards with me. And when each of you sing, I'll hold up a card and give you a number. <laughs> so look in the audience for a number, and I'll be me holding up a card. <laughs> Don't take it personal if I hold up a, a three, you know. <laughs> I'll probably be anyway. Well, I'll probably be holding up, holding up a lot of sevens, apparently, right? <laughs> Maybe. All right. Okay. <laughs> Anything else, guys? No? I just, right. I just kind of want to say thank you to Mr. Trudeau, because um, he's the one who introduced us to it. Roger, because he's the one that's been helping us with the vocals. Unfortunately, he's no longer able to help us, but it was good while he had it, while we had him. If I can speak English correctly, and I just want to say, um, without Mr. Trudeau, we wouldn't be here because we, I had no idea about this, and he suggested it to a bunch of people, but us three, and someone who dropped out were the only ones who kind of signed up for it. And, and Cal. Yeah, oh, don't and forget. someone else, too. Yes, That's she's so just funny. not here wow. to stay. Wow, wow. Okay. So sad. Already. Right. I see. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Trudeau, what's the... Is teacher here? Yeah, yeah he's, he's a, a fire, chorus he's teacher. A teacher. Oh, okay. For the middle school. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And high school. <laughs> We're not that special, I guess. See the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anything else? Um, I just want to thank Mr. Bory as well, cause he's like so funny and stuff. <laughs> he gets like TV jokes. It's amazing. Exactly. It's like the first teacher you can use, like a SpongeBob joke, <laughs> or like any other TV show. <laughs> any other? Any you use any uh, gun smoke or bonanza jokes? No. <laughs> I, think <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm old enough. <laughs> School appropriate. <laughs> no, no, they're, they're still on. You have to watch old channels to watch. No, they're, they're still on. All right, thank you, folks. No, thank and you. And break a leg. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I don't want to. No. <laughs> my legs are fine the way they are. I haven't yeah. broken a bone so far. I want to keep it that way. Yeah, me too. Um. Fine, then don't break a leg. Okay. Right, you don't want to have luck? Come on, man. <laughs> All right, good luck. What are the other two? There you with go. You. <laughs> All right, you can see more of these on June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Thank you, guys. So, should we leave? And we have three more. Your name? Aiden LaValle. Also known as Bill? Yeah. All right. And? Adam Galucci. All right. Shortstop, pitcher? Yep. Yep. <laughs> and? Michael Pennington. All right. And you guys uh, been around for a while. What grade are you in? Uh, I'm a freshman. And? I'm a junior. And? And I'm a freshman. And a freshman. Okay. So what are you doing in this? Uh, I'm Mr. Simpson. Mr. Simpson. Mm -hmm. Homer? No. No? I wish. No. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Another Simpson. So you, you were uh, an adult in this. Are you, oh, you're yeah. You're not the mayor, are you? No. no. Oh, okay. Who's, what's the mayor's name? Do you know? Oh, Gary Allen Larsh. Yeah, you know what the character's name is? Yeah. Oh. And he's just Mr. Mayor. Yeah, just Mr. Mayor. Okay. All right, so... You got kids, or what? What's the story? Most of the time, yeah. Most of the time, you have be. kids. Oh, as I said, are we good kids? Oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, I have two kids. Two kids. And a wife. And a wife. Yeah. Good family. All right. So, uh, you four against this tax? Or yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely four or against it. <laughs> oh, I said, are you four? <laughs> yeah, we're against it. Are you a middle of the road guy? You just like to please everybody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you sing at all in this? Or a, you, a little bit. I'm supposed to. Yeah. You're supposed to. You find yourself uh, lip syncing and not. Most of the time, it's most probably. Most of the time, does Mr. Boring know that? I'm going to no. tell him. No. <laughs> <laughs> he won't watch this. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and how about you? I am Mr. Bob Mansford. Bob Mansford. I yep. thought you were Adam Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so confused. Right. Bob Mansford. And what are what, what are you? Uh I have a wife and a daughter named Ashley. Okay. And uh, you're out there singing and dancing? Are you yep. pro dance? You're pro dance? Yeah, pro dance and pro against dance. the ta tax. Right. But, yep, I have a duet in there. You have a duet? Yeah. With your wife? Or yes. Right, with what's, my wife. Her, what's her name? Real life? Oh, Aislinn McDonough. Oh, okay. She's one of those that's at the track meet here. She's going to be coming up here in the. On the June 2nd, out of breath, probably. Mm -hmm. I'll be here. <laughs> okay, so uh, you and her are doing a duet? Yep. Is that worth the price of admission? Yeah, I'd say. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So have you been in this before? Never. No? Nope, okay. this is my first year, first too. First year? Yeah. You wish you'd been in here before? Well, I'm having a lot of fun now, so yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> and you'll be back next year, then? Yep. Okay. I will be. And Bennington, uh, how about you? You've been in this before? No, not before. And I'm Noah in the play. Noah. And I'm a kid. A kid. <laughs> hey, you haven't got a, an ark with the uh, animals on it. You're not that Noah, right? You're, you're no, no, I don't have an ark. Just a kid. <laughs> Just a kid, okay. Do you have a father in this and parents? or? I have a mom. A mom. All right. And uh, does she sing with you? or what? Yeah, you know? I think she sings, too. I think she sings? You're not close then, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have any duets? No. Do you have any solos? No. How have any group songs that you sing in? Yeah. Participate? Are you like LaValle? Well, yeah. Lip sync or? <laughs> no, I sing. <laughs> you actually sing? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't yeah. do that. Are <laughs> uh, you guys in the school chorus? Have you no. Been? No. Uh, nope. No? But you should be, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Not, not sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so uh, you think you'll be back next year? Yeah, I think so. Think so? Think you'll be invited back? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> you'll change your name and come yeah. in under the same name. <laughs> All right, anything, guys, that I should be asking you that uh, you think the folks ought to know about there on this June 2nd and 3rd? No, just no. have them come. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah three, you can come. You can pay $10 for one ticket or... Come three nights for 15. Did you hear about that? I didn't know. Actually. Yeah, yeah. Mrs. Bouvier yeah. yeah. said that special here, if uh, somebody wants to buy and come every, all three showings, they can't transfer it, they can't give their ticket to somebody else to come, but if an adult wants to pay 10 bucks, they can come one time. If they want to pay 15, they can come all three shows. So spread the word.
Awesome. Yeah, so chances yeah. are your, your folks might want to come more than once, yeah. you know. And maybe after the first night they say, no, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no refunds, so. <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, well, thank you guys. Yeah, thank appreciate you. The, thank uh, you. Appreciate all of you chatting with us. Yeah. Right. Thank Thanks. you. Okay, we got two for the price of one right now. What's your name? Uh, Nate. Nate who? Uh, Huff. Huff? H O U G H. Okay. I will say Huff, but it's Huff. Huff. Yeah. That's pronounced H U F F, right? It's H O U G H. Yeah. And. <laughs> You don't I'm know. so sorry. That's all right. Do you know her name? Her name is Casey Lapone. Casey Lapone. See? See how easy that is? It's, it's quite easy. <laughs> what are you going to do when you get on stage and all those people are looking at you? And... Try not to have a panic attack, and if I do, have it quietly. Very, very <laughs> quietly. Well, at least you don't have to, at least you don't have to break dance. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna break dance then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I do. It's one scene I have to break dance. Break dance, huh? I'm not very good, but <laughs> I said I can do it and I wanted to do it, so here I am doing so, it. So you're doing it. Yeah. Only one shoulder thrown out today. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. You can dance on your shoulders and all over what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So, where'd you win? I'm in 10th. 10th grade. Have you been in this before then? Uh, no, it's my first year. Think you might be back? I'm definitely going to be back. Okay. Do you, so you're doing dancing? Do you sing too? Yep. Now there's a fine for dancing. If you're doing a break dance, it must be a big fine, I would imagine. Hopefully not. I already get yanked out of jail once and I want to do it again. Oh, well, let's not have that. And how about you? Do you sing? Uh, kind of. I, I sing at home. Does that count? <laughs> I'm not in chorus or anything. No, but here in the, in the musical? We all have to sing. Yeah, yeah so you mm -hmm. have to sing, huh? Basically, yeah. All right. So are you enjoying yourself? Mm-hmm. Huh? Think you might do this again? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. What grade do you win? Ninth. Ninth grade? Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, this is your first time also then, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your favorite part? I got I gotta say the jail scene just because it's funny. <laughs> because the person who's supposed to be pulling us out because it's our father, but I get pulled out by him and he gets pulled out by mom. It's funny what he has to say. Uh, don't tell us. Yeah, we want yeah to I'm not going to. to, go that's, to the show that's, that's secret, see? secret. That's right. That's right. Got to pay you two bucks to see it. Okay, so uh, you get arrested too, then, huh? Definitely. Why not? Okay. All the kids do. All the kids. Because, because we're they're doing. Snap happy. Yeah. Snap. Happy Ohio. But yeah, we all go to jail because we are, do a dancing scene after the tax, and we can't pay the tax, so we go to jail. Because we rebels still. You kids. Yeah. You kids, you never learn, huh? Yeah. All right, well, don't come to, spec don't come to me for bail money, because I ain't going to go risk it. Uh, our parents already got that covered. Do they? Uh, $300. $300. $300 or for the third time, 150 for the first time. Oh. So. Well, it keeps going up. Are you sure? Mm hmm. I thought it was. 150 for the first time, uh, 250 for the second, 300 for the third. 75 for the first, 100 the second, 150 for the third. We're going to have to come. Mayor. Yeah, you'll have to come. We're going to have see. to come and see it mm -hmm. just, just to get that settled. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you both for talking to us. No problem. No All right. Problem. And we'll see you next year when you're doing the next one. Yep. <laughs> All right. Thank you. No problem. Bye. Bye. See ya. We're not here to talk about the Shazy Music Theater. What are you doing here? <laughs> um, I am performing in Do You Want to Dance for NCCS. Oh, my gosh. You're in all the big productions, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> like to think so. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Leona Turner. And? Aiden Roberts. Aiden Roberts. All right. And, Leona Turner, you've been in one or two of these? Yeah. Um, this is my, I think it's my fourth or fifth. This Hard year? to keep count when you're getting so many. And yeah, I've been in it since sixth grade, so. And you're now in tenth grade. Tenth grade, so. And uh, I can't remember. Was that your first Shazy Music production this year that you were? No, nope, that was my second this second year. One, so. This stuff keeps you busy. Yeah. You play a little sports too. Yep, I play volleyball and tennis. So is there a tennis meet in the, in the second or, or no? Uh, no. No, so you won't be. Like the track people uh, no. coming here from from something else, but it's a little bit of juggling to be in the sports and the 
Yeah. Like to cover this, so. Yeah. Keeps you busy? Yeah, definitely. You ever do any homework? I try to. Try to. <laughs> you do that once in a while, you know, sports and the <laughs> extracurricular stuff. And how about you? Uh, it's, or what I play, a, a golfer, bowling, boring sports. Uh, it's definitely it's a big challenge to be able to balance all three things, you know, job, which I'm trying to get in the summer because it's way too much work in the during the school year. You can ask her that. Um, homework is a big challenge too, especially when we're here so late every night working to make the show as best as it can be. All right, but you're getting your homework done, right? More or less. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think so, but I don't know. <laughs> All right, so is this your first time or? Uh, yes, it's my first time doing a play. What grade are you in? I am a ninth grader. Oh, okay. So I don't know if they let eighth graders in last year. I don't know. That. Uh, I don't know if they did last year. They are this year. We yeah. have a lot of eighth graders. Seventh graders. And yeah. yeah. Which is a problem with their age. I find out there's a lot of immaturity, but it's we're working through it. Well, you can't all be <laughs> mature like you ninth graders. I mean, yeah, I know, know, right? Freshman. Oh, gosh, yeah. Model citizen, model yeah. student, you know. Yeah, yeah. Golfer, you know, all those yeah. good things, bowler, you know. Yeah, the boring <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you think you'll try this again in the future? Uh, I definitely think I'll do this okay. again, uh, probably throughout my high school career. It's a lot of fun. Okay. So what are you doing in this? I'm playing Lucas, the main character, Chad's best friend, and a general athlete, which is kind of funny considering how I'm not athletic at all. <laughs> Well, golfing and bowling are kind of sporty. Well, they're called sports. I don't. <laughs> besides that, not really. Well, I think there's some people. Uh, Tiger Woods would disagree with you as far as. Uh, well, Tiger Woods golfs a lot more than I do. <laughs> I would hope so. Yeah. All right. So, um, how about you, singing, dancing? What are you doing? Um, I'm playing Daphne Doeswell. I'm the dance instructor at Snap Happy Ohio, and I'm the mother of Delaney Doeswell, our lead. So you're stirring up a lot of problems here. Being a dance instructor when there's taxes on dancing and stuff, you're, yeah. you're a troublemaker then. A little bit. Yeah, so you're kind of playing yourself in this then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. We pay the taxes, <laughs> so I guess that's how we get by. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you, do you get arrested? Uh, I do get arrested. There's a very long scene where I have to dance in a jail cell, which is a little cramped, but, you know, we're working through it. So there going to be bars in front of you, or what? There will be bars in front of us, so that'll be fun. <laughs> Not yet, though. I mean, no, we haven't run through the uh, rehearsals with the bars, so. Okay. All right, anything else that uh, I should be asking you guys? No. Nope. Second, third, and fourth, 8 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and 2 o'clock. Yep. You know that, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> Don't show up late. Yeah. Especially on Sunday, the 2 o'clock one. Don't show up at 8 o'clock. Yeah. It'll be all over. Yeah, it'd be uh, great to show up at 8 o'clock and the whole, everything be empty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Thanks. All right, when they came out, they said the mayor and Mona are here. Which one's the mayor and which one's Mona? I'm the mayor. You're the mayor? Yeah. Mona? You know, no, this is my wife, Mona. You're the troublemaker? You're the yeah. one that doesn't like dancing there? If you dance, I'll tax you. I'll make him tax you. Why did you marry someone like that? Don't, didn't know what I was getting into. <laughs> What's your name in the real world? Graylin Larsh. Graylin Larsh. I think I've seen you on a baseball team, huh? Yep. Yeah. You had a white cap. The other two guys came out here and yeah. had the red, the maroon caps on. Practice today. Oh, okay. And what's your name? Miranda White. Miranda White. Yep. Also known as the troublemaker, right? Totally. Totally troublemaker. Nah. So she's playing herself. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. So, um, how long have you guys been a couple? Um, Since we got our part yeah. like a month ago. A yeah. month? A month. A month. So did you know her before you married her? Is she, a, she was your second wife, I've heard, right? Yeah. yeah. And But you didn't know that she was like this before, or you knew going oh, no. in? No. We even went on a honeymoon together. But no dancing. No, no sign of that. No. Nothing. Just took you blindsided you. Blindside. Now, have you always been this way? Well, it was all because my mother told me I was an embarrassment to the whole family in front of all of my friends. And then know. ever since, I haven't danced. I haven't I'm not talking about the real world. I'm talking about the play. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's true. In the real world, I, I can dance. Yeah. Oh. 
Okay, your mother never said that in the real world. This is just in the musical. Yeah, in the musical, my mom oh, said I, that. I was confused. Are you confused? <laughs> oh, but <laughs> what is reality? <laughs> All right, uh, so you got you got to juggle some uh, baseball and other stuff to to be able to do this. Yeah, long hours at the school. <laughs> Fifteen hours a day studying the books and yeah, and then this. Uh, you're not doing any sports this, this no, season. No, but I'm working at Subway. The Subway. Yeah. No, no free advertising. <laughs> here. Cut that out. No, <laughs> this is not an endorsement for for Subway. And so you're. She's a cheerleader, though, in the, in the wintertime, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Championship team, you know. Did you know that? Yeah. Did she tell you that? Probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so, so you're totally anti-dancing. Mm -hmm. Don't dance. Okay, I won't tell you if it ends that way. I have to watch, come and watch yeah. this to we can't say anything see if you change your mind. But, uh, so you're blaming your mother. Is your mother in this musical? Um, I have a little flashback to her. Oh, so mm -hmm. she appears in your memory. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah. And she still haunts you to this day, right? I was shook. <laughs> it wasn't a good memory. They just scarred her for life. Mm -hmm. You didn't learn that, you know, you just can't. I know, her own mother. I know. Yes. That's why you sympathize it's, it's, with her. It's yeah. sad. It is sad, yes. Mm -hmm. So, you want all these people to pay the tax. What, what is it? The mayor must be a city then, a village? What is it? What town um, are you in? What town are you in? Are you gonna city of Snap Happy, Ohio. City of Snap Happy. I would think that'd be no more than a village, but it's a whole city. Yeah. Snap Happy, and they still want a lot of dancing and Snap Happy. Uh, you can't dance in Snap Happy. Where can you dance? I know, right? Yeah. Ohio. Until Mona comes in, then Isn't then you got to calm down. Yeah. No dancing around. No there. dancing. So you're up there the whole. Yep. There's a lot of dancing in this movie. Are you out there all the time? I the might be hidden behind a plant for some scenes, staring at the people <laughs> dancing. I try to get her to dance just a little bit, you yeah. know, at home. I've seen her dance. You don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Anything else, Miranda, that you want to tell us here? Uh, well, you should come see the play. Okay. And did uh, Karen tell you guys there's a bargain here? Tickets are ten dollars for an adult, but if somebody wants to come for all three, they can pay fifteen dollars and get a really? ticket. Yeah. There you so go. That's a steal of a deal. That's right. Before you sell three tickets to the same person, you better check on that. Fifteen dollars for all three shows. But you can't that's transfer good. it. You can't mm -hmm. you can't pass it off to somebody else. But that's a that's a bargain, huh? That's good. Yeah, excellent. Should be a t good turnout then. That's right. The, most of the people who go on Friday will might come back. Yeah. They'll just see how amazing I can sing. Not dance, because of course, no, you no. don't dance. But oh, so you're, you're singing it? Yeah. Oh. There's one moment, I won't really give off much no, no, thing. No, 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 don't. But I sing a solo, and then we possibly might sing a duet. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Possibly might. Possibly <laughs> might. Can't give away any spoilers. No, 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 no. boy. If there was five shows, I'd probably come for all five now. I'm, <laughs> I'm really excited. You should be. <laughs> all right, June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, mm -hmm. eight, 8 and 2. Mm -hmm. Yep. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Anything else, guys? No? No. Oh, all right. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Pay your taxes. <laughs> Pay your taxes. I may be wrong, but I think we got more cheerleaders here. <laughs> <laughs> your name? Haley Sheehan. And? Emily Boyer. How do you say it? Boyer. You don't say Boyer? I mean... I let people say it how they like. <laughs> it's supposed to be boyer, you know. It is, but just go you've with given it. In. Nobody else can say boyer, so they all say boyer, so you've given in. Yeah, oh yeah. Just let it happen. <laughs> well, she and they can say, right? Uh, yeah, they usually say she hand. She, what's wrong with that? It's just putting some emphasis yeah. on it. Yeah, I just let it happen. <laughs> all right, what are you doing in this? Um, I'm the lead role, De Delaney Deswell. The lead? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's pretty exciting. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited. It's uh, the first time I've ever had like a role this big, so I'm nervous to fill in the shoes, but happy to do it. I think I met your mother a few days, a few uh, people back there. Is it Leona's your mother? Is that who it is? Yep. Mother? Yeah, Leona's your mother, yes. It's a good thing. She's taller than you. Yeah, right? <laughs> it's uh, She's really good. We work well together, too. She's a good mother? Yeah. Oh, that's good. She treats me good. <laughs> <laughs> Your last name is Doeswell? Yep. Does 
how about you? Are you do good or what's your name? No, I'm Mrs. Ogilvy. I play an older woman who has great cherry pies. <laughs> it's my trait in the show. Snap Happy Award winning cherry award pies. Winning. Award winning cherry yeah. pies. Yeah, so I'm excited to be able to fill that role. You know, it's a little challenging to be like, an older woman, I guess, trying to like fit the aspects and everything like that. So see see how that goes. But Oh well, can we look forward to uh, cherry pies at the Lakeview this summer? No, no, but <laughs> lots of great burgers. I think we're working on a bigger uh, selection, adding different things More to the menu. So ho yeah, hopefully. We'll see how That's it all exciting. goes. Exciting. Yeah. But no cherry pies. No cherry pies, no. <laughs> Can't promise that. But. Have you been in these before? I shouldn't I'm losing my voice here. In the drama club place? Yes. Yep, I've, this is my third one. Third one? Yep. What grade are you in? Did I ask you? Eleventh. Uh, Eleventh. So you got one more time. Yeah. How Unless you decide to fail and stick around and do another. Oh one. yeah, that, that's my goal <laughs> is to fail senior year. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could fail your junior year. You know, oh yeah, that's true. It's a little be. late, but <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible right now for you to. Yeah. His marks are so good. One hundred and ten average. Definitely, a, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you enjoy these. Yeah, oh my gosh, they're so much fun. It's so fun to see, like, all of the seniors that graduate and then, like, see all of the freshmen that come up and do it because it's so exciting to, like, have new people share an interest that you've had for so long. So what are you going to do next year? You have the lead this year. What, what's, what's left to conquer? I don't know. I, I guess we'll see. <laughs> you have to play two roles next year. Oh, my goodness, that would be <laughs> awful. <laughs> and how about you? Have you been in these before? Nope, this is my first. What took you so long? Um, I don't know. I have, I do play a sport during this season, so I was kind of focusing on that. But this year, one of my friends got me into it, so I'm excited to be a part of it for the first time. What grade are you in? Tenth. Tenth grade. Yep. That's why I call those sophomores. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you think you might come back then? Definitely, yeah. It's a lot of fun. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun, yeah. And I have a lot of friends that do it too, so. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm making sure everybody knows here because I've I was four or five interviews in here before I realized that not everybody knew it. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Boubier said that tickets, $10 for an adult, but if they want to come all three nights, $15 for oh, all wow. three. Oh, wow. That's so awesome. Apparently yeah. she's keeping it a secret. She's yeah. going <laughs> to let you yeah. guys know. we got to spread the word. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's, uh, that's quite a bargain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know. That's half price if you were planning to come in for all three. And so. family friendly, in case yeah, you want to bring your yeah. kids. <laughs> That's true. That's true. All right, anything else, folks, that I should know about? Um, I don't think no. so. No? Do you have costumes? Or? Uh, yep, we have, like, it's pretty much just casual, like, everyday clothes for us um, because it's just supposed to, like, it's just set in a town and we're just dancing mm -hmm. around, so we're trying to keep it casual. Yeah. Okay. What, I know it's the 70s and 80s music, but what... Is there a year that this is supposed to be taking place? It's and set present day, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yep. it's, even though it's an old music, it's mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, present day. All right. Thank you very much. Of Thank course. You. Thank right. you. Take care. You Bye. too. Bye. Bye. All right. We are set to go. We have two more folks here. Your name? Victoria Dragon. Dragon? Is it D R G O N? Yeah. No, not a dragoon. No. Nope. I know some dragons who call themselves dragoons, even though it's mm -hmm. dragon. And I know some dragoons who call themselves dragon. Because a lot of people have said that to me. Yeah. <laughs> but you're a real dragon. Yes. All right. Victoria Dragon. Victoria, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And? Daniel Jeanette. Daniel Jeanette. All right. J-E-A-N? No. Uh, J-E-N-N. -N. <laughs> you didn't know this was going to be a quiz, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> I would have studied. <laughs> Spelling's important. Right? Yeah. All right. So what are you doing in this? I play the concerned mother of one of the kids who gets thrown in jail. The who what mother? One of the just concerned mothers. Concerned mother about those kids. Yes. It's, it's tough when they bring up these kids. And, they get thrown in jail. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Especially if you think dancing is okay. You mm -hmm. know, and dancing and then I get told I have to pick up my son from jail from dancing. It's oh, a disaster. Right. Are you a dancer yourself? Not in real life. <laughs> <laughs> but in the musical? Yes. Oh, so see, you're leading your children down the wrong path, obviously. Apparently. Apparently, you're right. <laughs> Apparently. How about you? What are you doing? I play the cop that arrests all the kids. Ah, good job. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's something. 
uh, dancing, all the numbers have been tricky, especially there's a few that I have, to, at the end of one, I actually come out and arrest all the kids, so it's, I have to get um, choreographed, actually, to, like, there's a few kids that I have to go get first because they're in the next scene, so, yeah. Got to get them out of the next scene? I got to get them out of this <laughs> scene to get them into oh. the next scene, yeah. <laughs> I thought you had to time travel to go get the rest of them. No, that'd be cool though. <laughs> Have you been in these before? Uh, yes, this is my second year. <clears throat> I was also in it last year as a freshman. Okay. And now you're a cop, huh? <laughs> yeah. Do you, give, do you give you a belt <laughs> club or a, what do you use to... Uh, I, I, um, I, I have a badge. I don't think I get a club. You get no. a hat? I, I, I do have a hat, yeah. Hat, hat and a badge. I'd get a billy club. <laughs> I don't know if I'm abusing any of them, so... <laughs> Alright, so you're going to arrest her? Or just her kids? Just the kids. Just the kids. Yeah, the parents don't get arrested for dancing. Oh, that's Guess bad. they know a little better. <laughs> so, how about personally in this musical here? Are you, are you, you don't care? You're, you're just going to arrest them? You don't have second thoughts about... Uh, I know, um, me personally, I, I wouldn't want to do that because... No, I know that. Yeah, I mean, but, but as the cop, I feel like, because everyone in Snap Happy's danced all their lives, I feel like the cop would honestly um, be re hesitant to do it, but he's getting paid to do this. This is the job. If he, doesn't, job. if he doesn't do it, he could get fired, so. It's not the mayor's fault. It's that nasty wife. You know? Oh, yeah. Uh, n n uh, yeah. Mona is definitely not the best character in this show. <laughs> She's fun to watch. Uh, the girl that plays her is amazing in real life. She's super nice. Is she? Yeah. She told you to say that, didn't she? No. I she... can still see the dollar sticking out of your pocket. <laughs> uh, no, no. I wish. <laughs> if I get paid for endorsements, I do them all the time. Oh, I'll see that. Give a dollar, he'll say something nice about you. Compensation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or bribery. All right, so have I asked you if you've been in this before? I have not been in this before. This is my first time mm -hmm. doing anything like this. And do you think you're going to try this again? I think so. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying it this time. Right. something that, uh, you know, you don't want to say it too loud that I'm having so much fun because you don't want 300 kids showing up next <laughs> year and having auditions, right? Yeah. So you tell the other kids, no, nah, it's boring, you know. I hated it all. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, when you do it, it's it's, it's work. work, but it's fun, and I think it's going to be worth the work that we put into it, the payoff. Yeah, and I think uh, it gives a lot of the kids a chance to uh, get to know other kids in school that they probably wouldn't be spending as much time with, and you get to know them better, and yeah, you know, so it's it's good socially and and so on. So, mm -hmm. so getting up there on stage, and, so you're all wearing your own regular type. Contemporary clothes. And Pretty much. Yeah. Not much changes for me. I got a uniform that I get to wear, so. But no billy club. No billy club, I don't believe. Alright, <laughs> uh, well, maybe I'll talk to Jason. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright, well, anything else I should be asking you? I don't think so. I think we're good. Alright, we're good. Alright, June 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, I'll yeah. be here. Yeah. You? Definitely. Uh, I will. Alright, you'll be here too. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Bye. Okay, we have three more. We're talking about the Northeastern Clinton Central School Drama Club and Musical. Do you want to dance? What's the dates on that? Um, June second, third, and fourth. All right, you pass. Okay. <laughs> What's your name? Aaron Blow. Aaron Blow. You look uh, a little bit like your mother, a little bit like your father. You know that? A lot of people say that. <laughs> a good combination. You can tell. That you can see. I can see both of them in you. Thank you. <laughs> and you? Angela Wayman. Wayman? Yes. All right, and? Suki Roden. Suki? Mm -hmm. All right, Roden. All right. All right, uh, what are you doing in this? Uh, I play the role of Sherry. She's a mom of Debbie, which is one of the kids. So you're a mother. Yes. <laughs> what grade are you in in the real world? I'm in 10th grade. 10th grade. Have you been in this before? Uh, I was backstage last year, and this is my second year. And last year, you kept saying, I want to get out there. I want to get out there, right? So next year you will be back here again? Yes. On stage. It's really fun. <laughs> Alright, so you, you have a daughter in this, you said? And then she gets arrested? Yes. And what do you think of that? 
Uh, I have to act very mad. You have to act mad? Yeah. Do we know you're not really mad? Does the, does the audience know you're mad? Or? The audience definitely knows I'm mad. <laughs> All right, what are you doing? Um, I'm backstage. Backstage? Yes. All right, what are you doing? Um, I'm just like the backstage manager, so I kind of control everything. Control everything? Yes. Be nice to her. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what do you you don't know what you're doing backstage? You're moving stuff. Um, I'm making sure the props are in order and um, everyone's kind of quiet since it's really easy to hear people, and just make sure they go out on time. Are there a lot of uh, scene changes, or is it all pretty much? Yeah, there's a lot of scene changes, and there's one where we have to move props in the middle of a scene, so we kind of have to twirl out with the rest of the people, make sure we kind of blend in to grab the bench. <laughs> it's fun. So do you practice your twirling? No. No? <laughs> okay. And you? Are you backstage? Yes, I'm also backstage crew. Um, I do everything pretty much with her, but she's the boss of me. Yeah. So I do a lot of the grunt work. Oh, you do the heavy lifting. Yeah. 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 That's the way bosses are, you know. Mm. Yeah. So you have a future for you, because that's what yeah. bosses are supposed to be. You delegate, it's called. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what grade are you in? Uh, we're all in 10th grade. All in 10th grade. Yep. You go to Jasper. What grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade. Yeah, see? So are you, have you helped out before? Um, I've helped out before and when I was uh, in middle school I was in drama club but then now I go to a different school. So I come and do community service here backstage. Um, so I'm not, I don't actually go to school anymore but I uh, joined to get community service hours to graduate. So I joined backstage just to help out and yeah. All right. And take orders from her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So you go to school here? Yes. Okay. So have you been this, done, done any of this before? Uh, I was backstage last year, too, with Aaron. And now you graduated to being chief backstage? Yep. Uh, do you have to, sometimes I see the, you, you said you twirl out there, so sometimes I see some of these uh, for the backstage people wear black, so they, yeah, mm -hmm. they have to blend dark. in. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what you're going to be wearing, all dressed in black? Yep. Alright, so I used to call people like that Zorro. Right. It's, an old, it's an old person, an old guy with a sword, just all dressed in black. You don't know about that stuff. <laughs> but anyway, you ever hear of Zorro? No. You ever heard of Zorro? <laughs> You've never heard of Zorro? <laughs> Probably your parents haven't even heard of Zorro, but <laughs> he was an interesting fellow. Alright, so you, you enjoy doing this backstage. Mm, yeah. That's, you know, without uh, you guys, uh, None of this would happen. Right. You know, and they get up there and take all the bows, and you guys do all the work. And, yep. You know, is that fair? Um, I don't think so. No, I don't we think so. We only get to bow on Sunday, yeah. but I think we on deserve Sunday, to bow on Friday to, and Saturday, too. Well, I think so, too. I think you should run out there on Friday and Saturday. What are you going to do? Throw you out? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Play can't go come out. back. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so get out there on Friday and take a bow. Yep. Tell them Calvin sent you. All righty. <laughs> And if she does that, you'll have to follow her. So yep. I'll just have to pick orders. up the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> just following orders. She told me to do it. Okay, anything else I should ask you folks? I don't think so. I think that'll be really good. All yeah. right. Yeah. Very good. As you're enjoying yourselves. And yes, definitely. Second, third, and fourth. Eight, eight, and two. On, two on Sunday. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. We have run out of available cast and crew members to talk to us, so we're going to have to call this a wrap, but we've talked to probably a little over half of the people involved in this, so there's a lot more people that we weren't able to talk to today because they're not here today, so I uh, don't think uh, we skipped anybody uh, on purpose, but uh, it just happened that way. It's the Northeastern Clinton Central School production of Do You Want to Dance? And it's Friday, June 2nd, June 3rd, and June 4th, 8, 8, and 2. Adults are $10, students and seniors are $8. It's in the Francis Bud Moore Auditorium here at Northeastern Clinton. And uh, check with Karen Bouvier or any of the cast members to see about that bargain price. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that uh, it's uh, an accurate thing here because I've been telling everybody to do it. Fifteen dollars for all three nights, so that's certainly worth the, the cost of admission. So I thank Judy for running the camera, and we hope to see you here. And uh, if 
we don't get arrested, we'll be out there dancing.